Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of Devil's Den. We are back. It has been a while since I last did one of these videos, but there hasn't really been a whole lot to talk about. Um, but the Eastern Conference and Western Conference Finals are finally finished. Uh, coming out of the East, we have the Florida Panthers in six games. I got that one right. I said Florida in seven. We got it one game early. Bye-bye, Rangers. Couldn't be more thrilled about that. However, on the Western side of the board, I got it wrong. I said Dallas, and I think I said Dallas in six or seven. Boy, was I wrong. Congratulations to the Edmonton Oilers for taking the Western Conference Championship. So it's going to be Edmonton Oilers versus the Florida Panthers for the 2024 Stanley Cup Final. Um, wasn't expecting Edmonton. Genuinely wasn't expecting Edmonton. Um, I won't lie. There's something about a Canadian team as someone... That someone is, as, as I am Canadian, um, it's really cool to see a Canadian team uh, win uh, at something, which is great. So, we have a Canadian team for the first time in what feels like forever. I'm not including Montreal. That season doesn't count. When you have two Eastern Conference teams in a Stanley Cup final, I'm sorry, it doesn't count. It, it just, I don't care about the Montreal Canadiens, doesn't count. Doesn't count to me. I'm sorry. I know. I know that sounds spicy. I just, I, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. However, Edmonton Oilers, Florida Panthers, Stanley Cup final. I believe that is starting Saturday night. So who do I think is going to win this series? So I'm going to say this. This series feels like it's closer than I'm actually willing to give it credit for. So here's, here's. Here's my take, okay? I think if we're going to look at Edmonton versus Florida, I think you have to sort of take a wider look at this from position to position to position. And it's closer than I would have given it credit for. So first of all, goaltenders, I think that's probably the easier part. Stuart Skinner versus um, uh, Bobrovsky. I think we can all safely say that Bobrovsky is the better goaltender. He's been the better goaltender in the playoffs, and he was the better goaltender in the regular season. He's had more success than Stuart Skinner has. Though that's not really saying a whole lot. But Bobrovsky, I think, is ideally the best um, of the two goalies. Bobrovsky versus Skinner. I'm going to give goaltending to Florida. I feel like that's a really easy call to make. Um, if you disagree, you know, feel free to shoot me a reason why. Uh, moving on to defense. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't know. Um, I think both teams are really, really great on defense. I think that Edmonton probably brings more of a physicality to their defense than Florida does. But Florida is certainly not a team that is unwilling to get scrappy and is willing to go at it. Um, I want to give a slight edge to Florida in this regard. Because if we look at Edmonton versus Dallas... And Florida versus New York. I'm not going to shit on Dallas's offensive output. Because they arguably had the best offense in the league. I uh, had the most stacked offense in the league. And Edmonton was able to shut that shit down. Game after game after game. Which was great. But I think... Oh, this is tough. I think I want to go Florida here on defense. I, I I might... Maybe I give it to Edmonton, but there's I, there, it's a gut feeling I have where I think I would give Florida's defense more credit than I would give Edmonton's because there's a part of me that wants to say the Rangers in 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 raw talent alone might have a better offense than Dallas. There's, I, it's, just, it's a gut feeling. I, I think when you put it together, right? When you've got Jamie Benn, Pavelski, Robertson, uh, the uh, uh, it's, uh, oh, the Asian kid. No, no, no. That is Robertson. And the, the rookie kid that Dallas has who played phenomenally throughout the playoffs. God, for the life of me, I can't remember what his name is. They're great. They're great. But then I compare it to Zabanajed, to Panarin, to... 
um, to Kreider, to the, even Lafreniere. I'm sorry, I know I'm a Devils fan, but Lafreniere has really, really showed his colors in the playoffs. Lafreniere, I don't know, there's a part of me that wants to give the Rangers more credit for their offensive output than I want to give Dallas. So I think, I think I'll give it to Florida. I think defense, Florida might have a better defensive set to shut down the Rangers in comparison to Edmonton's ability to shut down Dallas, though it's still pretty even. On the offensive side, I think that Connor McDavid being probably the best player in the entirety of the NHL um, is one guy, and his combination of, uh, of, of, of Nugent Hopkins, Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl, Zach Hyman, who's having the career year of his life, uh, in combination with defensive efforts from guys like, oh, what's, what's his name? Bouchard for Edmonton, who is having a, a playoff to remember, who potentially might go down for the Conn Smythe if they win the cup this year. Um, I think I want to give it to Edmonton because I think there's something about Edmonton's offense that might just have a slight edge over Florida. And don't get me wrong, Florida is no... Uh, no scrub when it comes to offensive talent between Reinhardt, Tarasenko. Like, they have really good uh, offense on Florida that is lethal and was able to put several pucks by arguably the best goaltender in the entirety of the playoffs this year in Igor Shesterkin, who stood on his freaking head. But I think in terms of raw talent... I feel like it might go to Edmonton. I don't... There's something... There's something there. I would not be surprised, though, if every single game of the Stanley Cup Finals is going to come down to a 1-2 to goal difference. 1-0, 2-1, 3-2 at the most kind of games. I think Bob is going to shut it down in net... I think Florida is going to have a hard time shutting down McDavid, so I think I would give them more credit. And I think that the offense on Edmonton is crazy good and crazy lethal. And if McDavid and Dreisaitl have been able to recreate in a Stanley Cup final what they've been doing, what feels like their entire careers at this point, then I think Florida has their hands full. Now, the question is, given all of that, who do I think wins the cup and how many games do i think it's going to take <sighs> i personally think that the stanley cup winner for the 2023 2024 season i think is going to be the florida panthers i think you're going to see the high speed high physicality edmonton crash against the waves or the iron wall of the Florida defense and Bobrovsky. I am concerned that Florida is going to offensively make mince meat out of Stuart Skinner, but we'll see. I want to say Florida in six. I don't know why not seven, but I have a gut feeling this is going to six. I think I think it's going to be for two reasons. I think Florida is the more endurance team. I think if you look at Florida series against the Rangers, how they just kept coming. And I don't know if Edmonton's defense or Skinner has the ability to keep up with the amount of endurance that the Florida Panthers had. You go back and you look at that New York series, they just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. 40, 50 shots a game. Like, Shesterkin, I'm pretty sure in one series, made close to 400, not 400, at least three to 400 saves in just that series. Like, every single game they played... Florida was putting 30, 40, 50 shots on Shesterkin, and he's letting in like two or three. So, I think I'm going to say Florida Panthers in six. And I think the Con Smythe, I think potentially goes to either Bob or Reinhardt. I just, 
I have a feeling. I don't think it goes to Barkov. I don't think he's made enough of a splash. But if Bob can pull off the playoff performance that Shesterkin did in the New York Rangers uh, Florida series, I think potentially Bob has a unique ability to take the Conn Smythe home. I'm not even kidding. It very rarely goes to goalies, but I, I, I could see it. If he plays elite-level goaltender, shutting down McDavid and Dreisaitl and Hyman and Hopkins and Bouchard, who, again, all of these guys are having the playoff careers of the playoffs, playoffs of their lives, then I think it's totally possible that Florida wins in six games and Bobrovsky gets the Smythe. Just a gut feeling. If you disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments. And last thing I'll say before I go is we're going to be doing a Devil's Den video after every single game of the Stanley Cup Final. There's only there's only one game. There's only one game for uh, for for the Stanley Cup Final. Well, there's, there's there's potentially seven, but there's only one game on. There's no reason for me not to watch these games. So, starting game one, Florida versus Edmonton. You guys are going to be getting a Devil's Den video for every single game of the Stanley Cup Finals until we find out who wins the Stanley Cup of the 2023-2024 season. And with that, guys, I'm going to head out of here. Adios.